Hey guys, Ben here from Geelong Cable Locations. Uh, we're at the 2019 No Dig Conference up here in Melbourne. Um, I'm in the apartment at the moment, got an apartment up here. Yes, I'm only an hour away. I uh, could have uh, driven up every day, but there's guys here from New Zealand and from uh, interstate and from all over the place, so I wanted to catch up with them after hours and uh, go out and have a good time and catch up with everyone, so I figured the thieves is easy to get an apartment. But anyway, we're at day one. Uh, we had the opening uh, ceremony last night. Ceremony? You call it ceremony? Yeah, opening last night. So many of us in our communities. Just before I finish, I encourage everyone to visit the photo booth. <laughs> Just over there. Get a photo and have a go at the mini golf. And Alex, I didn't mention the cricket. Thank you all. Have a great night. <laughs> Um, so yeah, saw a few of the guys there last night, saw the, uh, conference, saw the um, exhibition, looks like it's going to be a big one, uh, there's quite a bit of gear there, um, I'll show you guys, I'll walk around later on and show you, and show you what's there later on, um, but yeah, should be a good conference. I'm on the river, uh, on the Yarra River, this is where the apartment is, this is the apartment, it's not small, nothing special, but the position is really nice. So that's where the uh, conference is, or just the other side um, in there, it's uh, part of the uh, exhibition centre, uh, but yeah, look at me. That's this, right on the river. Really nice up here. Little love Melbourne. Everyone doing their morning commute to work, to their offices. Definitely a uh, different lifestyle. I, uh, I'm not used to uh, having neighbours just there. I was watching their TV last night. <laughs> so, yeah. I do love the whole being right in the heart, uh, how nice and easy, close it is to everything. Uh, but I'm yeah, not keen on having neighbours that close to you. I love uh, I live on land, I love having a bit of space. Anyway, um, it's 8.30 a.m. Uh, so I'm going to walk over and uh, the conference starts at 9 o'clock. Walk over and uh, get into it. All right, let's show you. Good afternoon, thank you for joining me this afternoon.
fairly good. So a couple of questions. Um, cost. The first two part, the last two parts that you did, I'm assuming you guys offer that as a service that you sell on to people. I, I get, don't get me wrong, I love the idea of this. I can see this is where we're heading. I'd love, I'd love for us to get this. But right now, the excavator operators and so forth will do a free dial footy request and then they get the plans submitted from Telstra and, and the other companies who pay dial footy dig for them to access their plans. So the utility companies pay dial footy dig, we all get it for free. Where you're going with this, who pays? Where's, how's that work? So the next part. Nothing changes. So nothing changes. The way that this is designed, it's what the existing dollar for you did. architecture, in terms of the way that referrals work. So the asset owner is giving you the option with those links to download the data. You want to, that email that you receive from the dollar for you inquiry is where those links sit. As the user of that, there's no. That sounds good. Hey guys, back at the room now. Uh, that's the end of day one. Uh, well, sorry, the end of the uh, conference for day one. Um, I think a couple of us are going to go out for dinner, so I'll just get back to the room. I'm going to have a quick shower and then head out. Uh, wrap up for day one. Uh, good. Had a good time. Um, spent the first half of the day looking over gear. Uh, there's a bit of gear I want to buy, so yeah, it was good seeing every, all the gear in one spot, seeing the majority of it in one spot, being able to yeah, compare little details, finer details, um, and prices and the rest of it, so that was all good. Um, and then the uh, sessions this afternoon, uh, the uh, sessions this afternoon were good, um, enjoyed, actually enjoyed all of them. Uh, yeah, little, little, learned little bits and pieces, little things you pick up that you know already that's good to hear again, um, uh, some, hear about some new stuff that's happening, so no, all good. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to stop talking because I'm gonna, I can feel myself losing my voice already. I bumped into that many people today that I knew. It's funny when you're in this industry for a while, you see, uh, yeah, there's a lot of people uh, that you catch up with that you haven't seen for, for some I saw of last year, other times I haven't seen for like 10 years, so <laughs> it was good. Anyway, um, all right, guys, I'm going to, yeah, have a shower, head out. Um, we just, yeah, a few of us going out for dinner. Nothing special. There's no... Most of the years they normally do events after hours. Um, this year there's nothing organised, uh, but still, there's guys here from all over the place. I want to catch up with them, so should be good. All right, I'm going to go have a shower. Take care, guys, and uh, I guess you'll see me tomorrow, and we'll keep going from there. Bye. Good morning, guys. Day two of the No Dig Conference 2019. Uh, I always feel weird saying good morning to you guys when I know you'll be watching this video straight from one after another after another, so you'll just see me say good night and I'll say good morning. Um, so today, uh, yeah, going to have some uh, more sessions uh, we're going to watch, uh, which should be good. Uh, some guys from New Zealand talking today. There's also some drone talks uh, happening today. Um, it's going to be a um, mock trial, uh, which I'm going to be part of, so that's going to be interesting. They, they had one, uh, yeah, two years ago, and it was unreal fun. It was really good. Uh, but so... We'll see how I go with that. Um, but uh, last night ended up being a bit of a big night. Uh, for those of you that have been following me for a little while, uh, probably seen me say this on videos before, um, you've, you need to go out. You need to uh, catch up with guys after hours. <laughs> the, um, a, the relationships you build with guys, uh, when you have a few, have a few drinks and uh, catch up and we can really talk properly rather than having five minutes inside of a stand trying to talk to people, um, and also the deals you can get. I got a few thousand dollars off some off some of the gear I'm looking at buying, uh, just because yeah, the guys I don't know maybe had a few drinks or they say uh, yeah they said oh Ben we really like you yeah but we'll, we'll do a better price for you. Don't worry, um, let's just take two grand off that price. <laughs> so so that that all worked out really well. Um, and you meet new guys. Um, uh, there's guys there that uh, I, I thought I knew everyone from the show. Oh, I stood, no, I'm sure. There's guys at the show that I've met that have, I've known for like ten years or so. Um, and there's other guys that, yeah, that I met yesterday that uh, I've known of, but I haven't had a chance to meet yet. So going out last night, I finally got to see him, sit down, talk to him, get to know him a bit better. So build new relationships. So yeah, it's good. So you do need to, yeah, I mean, those of you in the corporate world would know this probably better. Us tradies probably don't really do it as much, um, but you do really need to, yeah, go out and build relationships after hours at these sort of events. So it does take a bit of a toll on you. Um, you can probably tell I'm a little bit hungover this morning, but... 
So here we go, we'll push through. The conference does start in 10 minutes, so I'm gonna walk across now. Um, yeah, and get into it again. Off we go. All right guys, I'll uh, yeah, talk to you there, bye. All right, so we're doing a demo. The advantage of coming to these events is that you get uh, to have a look at all these radars and we're gonna be able to put two side by side and see which one. The Impulse uh, radar is only new. It's only been out released in uh, June this year. And the Opera Duo, yeah, it's the one I've got. It's been out for ages. I'll get the four wheeler, obviously. Um, so we're gonna see what they compare and how they look. So what's your top screen, what's the bottom screen? Uh, high frequency, low frequency. So 800, 400. Now yeah, let's see if this one here can pick up the same small target. One there. Where are we? One target here, small hot purple. There we are, the same one as before. One target there. Now, let's see when we go over this water pipe, what do we see? Nothing. Because we can't get through the Rio. Oh, sorry. Let's, let's back up. Mm. And, and you see it's a bit different through the... Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. Come back. Come back. And stop there. So yeah, that's it. So that's it. It's just, it doesn't show up as well, so much. But you can tell out of all of it that there is something going through there. Let's go out again. That kills the impulse. Three, six, one, seven. Seven, seven. Seven. Have a, have a look at it. That's that water pipe. That's the same water pipe. Oh, it's going to have it twice. Look how much better that looks. Well, that does. Yeah. Yeah. So, on what, 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 there we go. In the unknown, I thought over then. And now, there should be another one up here. Let's go over. Should be that one too, yeah. There we go. See? Look at, look at that. Ooh. You can see something still. Yeah. It's not as sharp as that. No. This one. And there's the other there. 1st of January 2020, Dave's going to be always been working on a thing called GA 105. There's just a few things we found about the, um, what, what's going on in the rest of the world. My name is Karen Johnson and as was just mentioned, I'm a client success team leader at Nick. So, that's basically what we've been doing is overlaying our yeah, yeah. Thank you everyone, uh, it's really good to see you all here. Uh, good morning to all locators, electricians, technicians, and associated people. Hey guys, so that is it for day two. Uh, I've just got back to the room, had a quick shower. 
um, and I'm gonna head back and uh, head out for dinner. Uh, I left them all at the bar, so we'll see what condition they're in when I get back. Uh, day two was good. Um, I think I prefer the talks from day one uh, rather than day two. There's still some great talks today, um, but yeah, I think I preferred yesterday's ones, but uh, still, it's, uh, it's been a great great event so far. Really enjoying it. Tomorrow, um, tomorrow's going to be a bit different. Uh, so the, the, all the main discussions are finished. Tomorrow's going to be a bit of a um, panel. Um, yeah, I guess I'll show you tomorrow and you can see what it's going to be like. Uh, but yeah, heading out for dinner now, um, all showered up and all dressed, and uh, off we go. Alright, talk to you, uh, you'll see this in a few seconds, but yeah, I'll be back tomorrow. Bye. Hey guys, good morning. Uh, this is it, day three, the last day of the conference. Um, should only be half a day today, so it should be... Uh, good. Uh, these, these conferences take it out of me, uh, but yeah, they're all, it's all fun, all good work, um, but yeah, at least it's only half a day today. Uh, although I'm saying that, um, quite a few of us are going to the football tonight, uh, so yeah, <laughs> could keep going, but anyway, we're good. Alright, I better start making my way over to the event. Um, I'll show you what it's like over there. Let's go. Population is the bigger, biggest driver of trends. And, and it is quite remarkable when you look across the, you know, our, our, our five state-based organisations on, on a trend basis, um, the trend is very similar. The, the one exception to that is probably WA, where with the mining boom, there, there was a bit of a, a, a blip um, in terms of inquiries and referrals going out. But it's remarkable how close the trend, trend line um, travels in, in the respective states. Um, and, um, you know... I, um, look, I think, first of all, the conference has been great. Um, you know, uh, there's a few of us here from New Zealand that have flown over. Uh, we do so because we, we want to be involved just as much as a lot of you. Um, we're Anzac's mate, we're trans, uh, trans Tasman brothers and sisters, and we've got to work together. Um, some of us are smarter than you, and some of you are smarter than us, so, you know, we need to... <laughs> Uh, thanks, Bob. Um, well, look, uh, I, I join with Ellie in saying it's been uh, a good conference. It's reinforced a lot of what I've felt uh, about uh, the, the certification process is sort of reasonably well established now. So I, I'm, I'm not sort of. Hi, guys. Probably sick of hearing uh, my voice. Um, I. I think again the attendance has been fantastic, the input is starting to get better. Um, I think the presentations that you've seen are the people that are passionate about the industry. Um, I sit on boards with lots of people here, I'm willing to do anything for almost anything. Look, I think you, you know, it's a really new industry, but you're really at that point where you keep self-examining. And if you're a plant, you would be pulling it out to check the roots. And sometimes you've just got to accept that okay. you, your training's in place. And I guess you know, we might, uh, I'm going to talk about the legislation in Victoria. So legislation in Victoria causes people to inspect all relevant records and that's what the legislation says. People hold a lot on legislation go, why doesn't it get changed, why can't we change it to you know, impact, why doesn't it say inspect and locate. Um, and that's
Um, also a support this year, KRE, one of our sponsors, we are going on for the KRE team. Come on, Keith, where are you? Come on, Keith. <laughs> Here he comes. Awesome. Kelly, thank you so much. That's it, guys. No dig 2019, all over, done and dusted. Uh, it's good. It was a good event. I'm glad I came. I'm really glad I came. Um, uh, you know, these sort of events you always toss up. Do you go? You miss out on a fair few days of work. Not been able to, yeah, go and earn an income these days. Go and spend more money at these sort of events. But definitely glad I came. Um, uh, picked up a heap of things. Learned a heap of things I didn't know. Um, seen things for the future. What's going to happen? It's good. Good to be on top of it all. Know what's going on. Um, and yeah, catch up with guys, meeting guys, buying equipment, talking, doing deals. Yeah, you need to come to these sort of events. Um, Trenchless that organised it, well done guys, really good event. Once again, I was talking to a few of the uh, ex uh, exhibitors in there and they all say that yeah, the No D conference is the one to go to. It's the best one uh, that Australia's got. Um, and you need, really need to come to these sort of conferences. So yeah, great work Trenchless. Uh, Nolka, great work guys, organising speakers. Um, apparently I heard that a few, a few speakers pulled out. Hell, that's just shocking to hear that. They're very, yeah, uh, unprofessional, uh, not, not good at all. Um, I don't know. Uh, for me, if you're going to tell someone that you're going to uh, do a speech, uh, uh, do, be one of the speakers, um, why would you then want to pull out and not do it? That's, uh, yeah, hopefully in the future they don't get guys being unprofessional or doing stuff like that. But that's my little rant. That's it. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Any questions, leave a comment below. Um, in, in the meantime, I'm going to head off. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye.